Okay, finally we finished our book. So we have our cover on. We glued our picture on. We have the pages. Now we're ready to fill up our book and do whatever else antiquing that it would take to make this book look like we found it. So, I have some things. Now once we do that, before you do any writing in this book, you want to antique it if you didn't already do the pages the way we showed in the other tape. You can take a sponge, and the same thing like with the coffee, you're going to make your coffee water, and you're going to dab it. So I'm going to dab it real quick, and um, I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. Then after you do your antiquing, you put your images. So maybe those are the letters. You're going to glue those on whatever the um, hieroglyphic alphabet is, you glue them on. And as you can see, it's already starting to look like a book that was found as opposed to something you bought from the store. Over here on this one, if you look at the edges, I burned it a little bit with a cigarette lighter. You gotta ask mom to help you do that or let her do that for you. But it makes it look like, wow, I found that in a cave. What has that book been through? That gives you a little bit of character. It makes you wonder what possibly happened to that page. You know, and each one, you want them to look different. You want it to look very original. You want it to look authentic. So this is the fun part. And before we do that part, I want to do one last little thing. And this can be done later on or it can be done now. So I'm going to antique the book and then I'm going to attach my block because I don't want anybody to know the alphabet because I understand the Egyptians did not want the Romans to know their code, their alphabet code. So everything was a secret. So I'm going to put this lock on here and this will be our bookmark but it's actually just to make believe it was locked. That this, you can only get in this book by unlocking the code. And maybe we'll play around over here a little bit and see how we can get it to open and close or something interesting. You're going to need the little latch. And you can make a hole into your book in the first page. When you first open up the book, you flip the page up Make sure there's nothing in the way and you want to lift this first page up and maybe about this far down maybe about a quarter of an inch down that's probably one eighth of an inch you're going to make a hole you can use a sewing needle to make a hole I have an awl you can use the tip of the scissor and make a teeny little hole right there to fit your chain. Okay, bye-bye.